crafting journey that journey tick on instagram make sure you're following me on uh instagram so you can see my updates i haven't posted in a while i need to post so we have alice back on the table i worked so hard on sledding into town this weekend and i made some real progress we're not there yet it's going to be a while but i'm working on that last row and it's like probably one of the most heaviest confetti parts of the painting but it's okay oh god it looks so beautiful from a distance from a distance it looks done but it's not anyway so let's uh roll up our sleeves here start on alice that is it is the year of alice it's also january 11th 2020 i'll put my light pad on well let me turn the light pad off first because i want to show you something let me show you where I am in the painting here. I started the dress. So look how pretty the ABs are in that dress. Do you need a closer look? Maybe you do. Look how gorgeous the dress is. Yeah. And the little mushrooms over here. Oh, this is so so colorful i'm really really loving it so I, every time i look at it i see more things you know when you're diamond painting up close you don't see everything i, I, I guess it's kind of distorted because you're looking at it so closely but when you back away wow you're like wow that's pretty cool all right let's get a tray let's get some diamonds oh Where's my three tens? Here are my three tens. Okay, let's just grab us some three tens here. There we go. And we're off to the races. First, we need a, a pin. You know why? There was, I put everything away last night. It's national clean off your desk day. Now, Mickey can tell you that uh, while I was talking to her last week, I cleaned off my work desk i also went through some boxes and stuff but this desk here my craft desk i'm going to clean that off why because we become more productive things are we're more creative if everything is clean so here's my challenge today guys clean off your craft space yep i guarantee you'll feel better about it so that's my challenge today or for the week how about for the week I'll give you a week <laughs> but it's going to make a world of difference to you to get that space cleaned off here's what you do just take everything off and then and put it somewhere and then clean you know wipe down the desk and then as you're putting things back you clean off whatever you're putting back um, you know, get make sure you have a trash can or a shredder if you're doing a regular office desk and you shred everything, you know, that needs to be shredded. Um, but, you know, wipe everything down as you put it back, organize it. You're going to feel so much better about your craft space. I know I will. <laughs> I'm just looking at the mess. Good God. Yeah. Oh, the coffee's so good. I got my Southern Butter Pecan. Oh, so good. So good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my God, yes. I just made that noise. Uh, so, what is going on on a Monday? Well, I don't, I don't have to go in the office today. I have to go in the office tomorrow. <sighs> yep. So um, today, I think I'm going to, I am going to clean this space up later today. Not now. <laughs> yes, that is, that is the procrastinator in me. <laughs> You're like, you gave us a whole week. Yep, you got a whole week. Um, oh, what was I talking about? Work. Yeah. I'm feeling so much better about work since I got that new program and um i'm able to get these reports out that we've been trying to figure literally for months we've been trying to figure out a way 
to get all of this information into a report and now we have it i am so thrilled so i need to get the rest of i have i have to do a report for each department so i i've been doing a few a day because once you get the report um the the measure you have to define the measurements for each report and once you get all those defined you have to run the query and then it takes a little while to get all that going anyway my lips are so chapped and i put every night before i go to bed i put on this really uh it's called vaseline with shea butter um and it keeps my lips moist, but man, yesterday was so cold that my lips are chopped. I just need to not go outside in the cold weather. I even got on my temperature blanket, I got to go down to the lowest temp on both blankets yesterday. Cause the low, cause I'm doing the lows. The low was 20 degrees. So I went down to the lowest, um, pink on the loom blanket and I went down to the lowest temp which was the dark blue on the crochet which I'm glad now we've got we're getting some variation in the color but today it's back into the 20s so we're going back to the normal colors that I've been using um and it's not such a pain to change colors I mean I thought it would but it's not that bad it really isn't <sighs> man so last night I said, I am going to bed early and gosh darn it, I did. I was, in, I think I was asleep before midnight. Yep. Which that's really good for me. And then of course I proceeded to, I think I woke up just, I don't know. No, I woke up at the same time I always do. Yeah, I did. Boy, <laughs> this pen is really holding on to the pen to the drills this morning doesn't want to let go does not want to let go of the drills i love that snap don't you that square snap let go it doesn't want to let go of the drill let go of the drill i have glue dots in this um pen and just does not want to let go of the, all right let's let's get these glue dots i don't know why that just some of them uh, let me see if let me make sure it's all in the tip that's what she said i know <laughs> oh so last night i was getting ready to contact rachel from treasure studios arts to find out you know to give her the winning number from you know yesterday i spun the wheel of all the orders that i had between november and december from treasure studios arts um to get a and I gave, um, I'm going to give the winner a $25 gift card. But I don't know the names. I just know the order numbers. So I was getting ready to text Rachel and see what, you know, whose name this was. And then I get an email from Jerry and she's like, it's me, it's me. Um, <laughs> and um, that was her order number. And she confirmed that that was the painting she ordered. And so... Jerry got the $25 gift card and has already bought a painting. <laughs> I forget which one she bought. No, she bought one by Nicole Payne. Um, Nicole is not really my thing, but, but that's okay. A lot of people just love her. Um, so congratulations to Jerry. So when, when I spun that wheel with all those numbers and nobody knew what the heck I was doing, Jerry was the winner. <laughs> So, uh, and that was because she used my code to get a discount on Treasure Studios Arts between November and December. Yay, Jerry. And if you guys use my code, Rebecca15, you get 15% off of your order of $40 or more. And I really do appreciate when you do that. Um, it's, you know, I do get a commission it's not a lot, but, you know, it's a small little check every month. And you know what I do with it? I buy yarn. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know. I'm addicted to yarn now. I think I've got enough yarn. Now, I do. I haven't ordered any in, in a few days. 
Who's out there? Who's out there? What are my dogs barking at? No, somebody's going out for their brisk little walk. That's what I should be doing. But then I'll come back and my lips will be chapped. And yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> uh, I thought about it yesterday. In fact, yesterday I took, before I went to pick up the groceries, I took Tootsie and we did a little loop around. We did a little walk. It wasn't one of those, you know, brisk walks because you can't brisk walk with a dog because they got to do their thing, you know. But we walked. Maybe that's why my lips are chapped today. Hmm. I have very sensitive lips. I mean, like, if I'm out in the cold for five minutes, my lips chap. <sighs> so, so when I, um, when I came back from picking up my groceries from Walmart and I'm putting them away, I notice that this bag is in the trunk and I'm like what could this be so we're gonna do a little unbagging a Walmart pickup unbagging what did we get this is apparently is their happy new year to you guys who pick up groceries from Walmart I was a little surprised and it's got some pretty cool stuff in here so the first thing they gave me was one a day fruit bites fruit is the first ingredient so is high fructose corn syrup i guess that they consider that fruit um i guess high fructose corn syrup does come from fruit but anyway one a day now has fruit bites i love peach so i'm gonna try that um i haven't taken my vitamin this morning so maybe i'll try that and then you got <laughs> There was, here's this bag, and this is, they gave you this bag, so if you want to buy an avocado, you put it in the paper bag, and it ripens. Now, I've known this for years about peaches, so whenever I go to the grocery store and I would buy peaches, I would ask for a paper bag, a small paper bag, so that I could put the peaches in and they would ripen. Um, so, I guess it's the same thing for avocados. I don't eat avocados, so I wouldn't know. But inside the bag are all these like avocado, um, I guess, you know, tips and tricks and recipes for avocado. <laughs> I don't eat avocado. I'll take this to work and see if anybody else wants an avocado harvest bowl, guacamole burger. Um, so I thought that was super cute. I will save the paper bag because like I said, I like to ripen my peaches with um, a paper bag. Now, will I remember to take the paper bag to the store? That's the question. Of course, I do grocery pickups, so it doesn't matter. Even if I got the peaches at home from grocery pickup, I would put them in a paper bag. So then we got my bite, guilt-free chocolatey vitamins, yum. Ooh, look at that. Now, this is a Walmart brand they have hers they have energy they have multi they have calcium combines rich caramel roasted peanuts and a fluffy center all-in-one deliciously chocolate vitamin bite Ooh, i'll probably there's probably just one in here oh no wait a minute oh they give you quite a few wow there's quite a few i think there's some of each kind yeah, there's some of each kind. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I got vitamins for a few days here. This is adorable. Okay, then we got, oh my gosh, Belvita. Have you ever had these? Oh, they're so good. I used to have these for breakfast a lot with my coffee. These are the blueberry ones. Um, these are delicious. Yes. Oh, thank you, Walmart. Then we got the Kodiak Cakes, which is a, Kodiak is a brand that um, is high protein. You can get pancakes and muffin mix and all that good stuff. So Kodiak Cakes has come out with a granola bar, oats and honey. So in this, it's 210 calories. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, there's two little, I don't know. One serving per container. Okay. 210 calories. 10 grams of protein in here. I don't, I've been skipping lunch a lot, so maybe I'll eat that for lunch. Now, last but not least, I 
thought this was really adorable. Alka-Seltzer Cool Action Heartburn Relief Gum. Isn't that cool? I don't get heartburn much. But they have it, you can take gum now. Instead of drinking that horrible stuff, you can have gum. So that was my little gift from Walmart. How nice of them. So I'm just going to put it all back. And I love the little bag. I don't know what I'll do with it, but um, we'll see. Let's try the fruit bites. Should we try the fruit bites? Let's try fruit bites. Okay. Is there a coupon? No, no coupon. No coupon. Oh, but if you scan it, it will add it to your pickup cart. Isn't that cute? We're not going to do that. I don't know unless I'm in love with them. Let's uh, let's try it. Am I supposed to eat both of them? There's two of them in here. Oh, yeah. Two bites. Mm. Those are pretty good. Mm. But, of course, they would be high fructose corn syrup. Mm. I like that. Mm. I could get behind that. That's delicious. Okay. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm going to wash it down with some Southern Pecan coffee. I've had a Southern morning. Peaches and coffee. Um, all right, back to diamond painting. So, this day in history. Do, 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 do. Come on, Drill. Boy, they're really giving me a fit today. All right, we'll just, we'll just go back to multiplacing. All right. My God, look what time it is. I'm having a leisurely day today. <laughs> In 19... Why is it so hot? 1964, the U.S. Surgeon General comes out and says, there's a link between smoking and cancer. Now, at this point, about at least 50% of Americans are smoking. We're smoking in hospitals, we're smoking in our offices, we're smoking in the schools, we're smoking in church, we're just puffing away. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Everybody's smoking because nobody knew that it was bad for you. So, uh, they started noticing this tremendous rise in the cases of uh, lung cancer and throat cancer. So they uh, did this study and the Surgeon General came out and said there is a link between cancer and smoking. Now prior, for the next 20 or 40 years after this, the, the tobacco companies did everything in their power to combat this Surgeon General statement. They would go. They would send doctors cartons of cigarettes, and then ask them, "What's your favorite cigarette?" And the doctors would say, "Oh, it's whatever, you know." Here's some pictures of the doctors promoting these cigarettes. So then they would agree to do the promotion, you know. And what the cigarette companies would say in response to this Surgeon General um, warning was that. It's not their brand of cigarettes that causes uh, all, the, all of these problems. It's the other brands. <laughs> and the other brands were doing the same thing. It's not our brand, it's their brand. So they were pointing the fingers at each other, um, trying to get... get <laughs> it's all cigarettes. All cigarettes. Um, and it wasn't until... Uh, when is it? What? Um, I want to say the 90s the early so they I mean in the early 90s that we started getting anti-smoking laws so that's how long you know from 60 Surgeon General came out with this in 64 so 64 to the early 90s 30 years the 
the tobacco companies fended off these anti-smoking laws. Now you cannot go anywhere and smoke. And I am so grateful because it's disgusting. I've never been a smoker. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I've tried it. And it just wasn't for me. Um, you know, it makes your clothes all smelly. It makes your breath smelly. Um, so now um, the tobacco companies are investing in e-cigarettes. And now they're saying that, yes, the Surgeon General has come out and said there is a link between serious disease and e-cigarettes. Um, and they're particularly concerned because, you know, they had all these flavored e-cigarettes, so it was appealing to young um, people, and young people were getting sick, so, you know, were or are, because it's still a thing. Um, so, you know, vaping is, is the next best thing, but it's still really, really dangerous because you're still getting the nicotine. Now, I know, I, I don't flood me with comments to say the opposite because <laughs> I'm sure there are other arguments. Yes, I know that. I, I understand. Um, <laughs> I'm just reporting the news. <laughs> I don't have an opinion one way or the other about vaping or e-cigarettes. I really don't. Personally, I don't have an opinion except um, being a risk manager at a hospital in the past. You know, we had a few years back in the hospital that I worked in, um, well, the sister hospital, which was down the road. One of the e-cigarettes, the patient was smoking it in bed, the e-cigarette. It exploded and it harmed the patient, it damaged the room. And so at that point we had to revisit, you know, as part of our fix for this issue, you know, anytime something like that serious happens in a hospital, you have to put an action plan into place. And part of that action plan was we had to take down all the no, we had to change our no smoking policy. We had to add vaping to the no smoking policy. So no, you were no longer allowed to, you couldn't smoke on hospital property. So now you couldn't smoke or vape on hospital property um, because of the risk of explosions. Um, so we had to change all the signs, the policy, we had to educate everybody. No, you cannot vape on hospital property. Um, so it was, a, it was a real pain in the butt, but we'll see. I think, you know, again, the, the companies are going to fight, you know, and say no it's not it's not our brand of vape um and i think they're trying to take and maybe they've already done it they're trying to take the flavored vape off the market so it doesn't appeal to children and by children i mean you know young young teens or teenagers they're so vulnerable they really are you know they want to be cool there's a lot of peer pressure um So we'll see what happens in the next 20 or so years with vaping. You know, we'll see what comes out as far as studies. And I don't think there's been a lot of studies. That's, well, that's really why I don't have a major opinion because it hasn't been studied enough to know. Anywho, anywho, it's Monday, 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 Monday. I don't know why is Rebecca singing and diamond painting. Oh man, I was diamond painting in here last night watching Crashly. Oh, she's so funny. So the conversation turned to Animal Crossing, and I do play Animal Crossing, but not enough to where my island is very advanced <laughs> i will admit it i am finally in a house you start off the game in a tent on this island so now i've got a house the museum is built so the, one of the ideas is you find fossils and you fill up the museum um it's a cute little game and sometimes i'll get it out at night but i've been so interested in what i'm watching on tv and i've been crocheting 
and I really worked hard yesterday on um, my hooded scarf. I want to get that done and show you guys the colors. I am so in love with the yarn that I'm using for this hooded scarf. It is so beautiful. It's lollipop yarn from uh, Hobie, and it's so, it's just, the colors are just beautiful. Pinks and purples and what's in my mouth? Oh, yes, I've got to go to work today. Well, not, you know, i got to go to my office. All right, so raise your hand. If you're going to clean off your craft space today or this week, this week, okay, I pledge that I will clean off my craft space this week. Good deal. Good deal. I need to clean the whole craft room. <laughs> but this week we're going to just concentrate on this stuff here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, book club. I want to talk about book club. So we met yesterday. Uh, we had our book club at 2 o'clock good turnout. I'm very happy with the turnout. We had a good amount of people. Uh, what I did was, um, I'm just in love with that little spinning wheel. So I, re I went around the Zoom room and asked everybody, what is your suggestion of what we should read? And I put that on the wheel. And so everybody gave us suggestions. And some people didn't give us suggestions, but we at the end, we ha I think we had four solid suggestions. So I put that on the wheel and I spun the wheel. And we are going to be reading Where the Crawdad Sings. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. Um, I will put the information on the book in the uh, Crafting Journey Facebook group. Yes, I have got to update the Facebook group today. I'm going to put in the uh, watch list that, that we did yesterday. We put together a watch list during the live yesterday. It's a lot of fun. Thank you guys for contributing. Um, I'll put that into the... To the Facebook group today and please add to it if you uh, have a show that you really really love add it to the watch list put you know put it in your comments um, and I will also put information about the book club now we are not going to meet again until people have the book and have read the book so we're not going to be meeting every week so kind of pay attention to when I say we're gonna have a book club meeting but go ahead um, it is not a book that is available on Kindle Unlimited, unfortunately. You can um, check it out from your local library. It is available on Audible. You can buy it through regular Kindle. You could probably buy it through your Nook. Uh, you can go out and purchase it. Uh, they sell used copies. Um, Where the Crawdad Sings. And uh, I'm interested. It should, it should be a good book. So... If y'all would like to read along with us, we would love to have you. I'm, st I'm trying to finish up. I am in part three of The Awakening. There's four parts to the, to the book. And I am in part three. It is such a good book. So I'm going to finish that up before I start Where the Crawdad Sings. But I think I did download it um, into my Audible yesterday. Oh my gosh, we, we're all sitting there, we're waiting for, um, you know, book club to start, and we're all chit-chatting, and Marissa, Crafty Heifer, comes in, and she's got this, um, it turns out it's called Snuggly Blanket or something, it's a, it's a blanket that you wear, and I was so enamored with it, I ordered it, yes. I went on Amazon, they were on sale, and I ordered an oversized one, it has a hood, and it, it, so you put it on, and it's really oversized, and it's huge, and you feel like you have a blanket on, so I can put that on, and sit in my chair, and crochet, I think it's so cool, so did I download that, I thought I did, where is it, hmm, it's not in my library. Why not? It's supposed to update the library, but it has not updated my library. Let's say library. Oh, there. Wait a minute. Where? 
Where the Crawdads Sing. I don't know what I said before. It's called Where the Crawdads Sing by De Delia Owens, D-E-L-I-A Owens. And if you get it on Audible, it's 12 hours and 12 minutes, which um, is not bad. Not bad at all. I have uh, five hours left in the book that I'm reading now. And 28 hours left in the Barack Obama book. I haven't listened to that a lot. I love Barack Obama. I just, it's just, I have, I, I'm so into these other books right now. And why do I do Audible? So I can diamond paint. I can multitask. I can diamond paint and listen to Audible books. The other thing I do while I diamond paint is uh, YouTube. You know, last night I was diamond painting and watching Crashly. And um, the other person that I love to watch is Bagaday um, Crochet. She's, she's a crocheter. She does yarn unboxings and giveaways. And um, I love her tutorials. So that's what I do when I'm diamond painting. And it's so cozy in this room now with my heater. So uh, last night, Jen and uh, Crossley did their giveaway for their event. So that event is finished. That was the Willowing collab. And the winner got a gift card for the Diamond Painting Factory UK. Now, I still have the Alice from that company, that the Willowing Alice from Tamara Laporte that uh, I'm going to finish up. You know, I said I'm going to do one whip a month. I'm going to finish up sledding into town here in January. Probably next month I will get out uh, the Alice, the Willowing Alice, and work on that. It's about, it's about a third of the way done. And I'm glad that, they, that my, I was one of the finalists, and I'm glad that my name didn't come up as the winner because I didn't finish that painting. And, you, and one of the requirements is that you had to finish the painting. And I would have said so. I would have said, no, I'm not eligible because um, I, di I didn't finish my painting. But I'm going to. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay. I think that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you for supporting me. Please, if you um, would love to have you as a member of my channel, you can become a member by going to the channel page, um, the channel banner, and click join. Or there should be a link down in the description. You can also join my Patreon. Um, both of those, uh, the Patreon and the membership, go to support content for the channel. This week, I'm going to be doing working on the collage quilt, and I have put quite a bit of money towards that collage quilt. It, I needed, like, I don't do quilting, so I needed all this stuff. So, <laughs> we're going to do that. I'm going to uh, watch the videos this week, the how-to videos, see what I need, need to do to set that up, you know, so that you guys can see what I'm doing as I do it. I think I need probably an ironing board or I, I don't know. This may work for the first week, the drafting table, because I have to do a lot of cutting and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but anyway, that's that's part of the channel content that the memberships and the Patreons support. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow in the morning show. Bye.